Hello, 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 and welcome with Cooking with Camille. We're going to start our um, Easter dinner today. Happy Resurrection, resurrect, I can't even say it, to everyone. Uh, we're going to do our dessert today, and then we're going to do our dinner tomorrow. Our dessert today, we're going to do something quick, because you don't have to do everything easy. So I shouldn't be standing on my legs. Uh, we're going to do a strawberry, like a strawberry shortcake. But we're going to use a box cake. So you're going to need a... Classic, um, uh, any kind of cake mix, white cake mix, three eggs. Need a ca uh, strawberry jello. I got some fresh strawberries, some Cool Whip, and some oil, and some water, a cup of water. That's all you're going to need. Okay, let's get started. And a glass dish, glass baking dish. Okay, okay, let's get started. First, we're going to go ahead and start whipping together our cake mix, just how you do it. Just follow the directions and do it, do it, and then we'll be back. This is the most easiest dessert you can make. It's a cake box, box cake with some strawberries and whipped cream and jello. The easiest cake you can make, easy dessert, quick and fast. Okay, it's such a box cake. I didn't even go get the mixer out. I just beat it with my wire whip. Then you just pour the mixture in there. And we let it bake. Preheat in my oven at 350. And we're going to let it cook for 30 to 35 minutes. So whatever the box tells you to cook for. Because each cake mix is different. Sheep cake mix is different. Duncan Hines is different. And Pillsbury is different. So always read whatever the box says. Okay. Everybody's temperature is different. Okay. Let's bake that. And while this is baking, we're going to get the jello ready and we're going to get our strawberries cleaned and washed. Okay, I cut all my strawberries. And if you don't have enough, just cut them again. They might be too big. You can cut them again. And I'm going to make uh, get my stuff for my jello. Cake at 13 minutes, so I'll get the get some hot water boiling. Okay, now while the cake is cooking, we're going to make some strawberry jello and just follow the package on the back. And then a bowl, you just add one cup of boiling water uh, to um, of the container uh, to the pack and um, let it dissolve about two minutes and stir in one cup of cold water. That's all you do. We're going to let the cake cool a little bit before we pour the jello in. So that's what we're going to do. Jello, one cup of hot water, and one cup of cold water. And instead of boiling water, I'm just going to get one cup of water and throw it in the microwave. And then one cup of cold water. Okay. This is the hot water I'm mixing together to get all the sugars and stuff mixed it. Then we're going to add the one cup of cold water. And then when the cake come out, you just pour this in the holes. Okay, our cake is out. Look how pretty it is. So now that our cake is out, we want it to cool a little bit before we add our jello. And we want to get something that's pointy. And I don't have nothing pointy. You can use the bottom of your spoon or whatever. I don't have a spoon. So I'm going to use a straw and just punch holes all in your cake while it's hot. Like so. And we're gonna let it cool a little bit before we add that jello. I'm gonna let it set for about five minutes and then we'll be back. Now that we got the holes in there, should look like that. See the holes? That's so the jello can run all through it. Okay. And while we're waiting, I thought make sure you had your cool whip at room temperature so it can thaw out. So when you put it on there, it won't be frozen. Okay, then we're gonna get our jello mix. And we're just gonna pour it in our cake, like so. And put it in the refrigerator and just let it chill till it cool down a little bit. 
before we put our whipped cream in. So it's soaking through. And we're going to put it in the refrigerator and let it chill a little bit. And we'll be back when it's time for the whipped cream. So we wait while we're waiting for that to cool down, I'm going to clean the kitchen. Clean the kitchen real good. Okay, I'm going to get the whipped cream, put it in a bowl, and whip it together. Matter of fact, you can just whip it on this. We're going to just whip it until it's smooth. Okay, so all we're going to do is whip the whipped cream together and just put it over the... Oh, making a mess already. And just spread it over the, the cake. I let it sit in the refrigerator for about 15 to 20 minutes. And after we get done, we'll put it back in the refrigerator. And one little eight ounce should be enough, unless you really like whipped cream. And I like Cool Whip. I uh, try the cheaper brands, it just don't taste the same. But I got it in there, but I just don't taste the same. I don't know why, it just don't taste the same. Okay, now that we got that, we're just going to start stacking our strawberries. Oops. All over the cake. And then we're going to set it in the refrigerator. I'm going to cover it with foil and set it in the refrigerator till tomorrow. I'll be ready. This is our dessert for tomorrow. How easy was that, y'all? Less than an hour dessert. Really nice. Really easy. Kids would love it. I'm going to love it, even though I don't eat strawberries. But I could take the strawberries off and eat the inside of it. And this is what we're going to do. Okay? You can add nuts to it if you want. Uh, whatever you want to do to you. This is your cake. You do whatever you want. And we'll cut it tomorrow to see what it looks like. Now, I want you to stay tuned to tomorrow. See what the rest of the dinner look like. Um, this is our dessert. I had to do it a day early because I got a lot going on. I didn't want to do too much on my feet. Okay. There you go. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. This is dessert for Easter Sunday. We'll be back tomorrow with the dinner. Love y'all. Happy resurrection. I can't say that word. Resurrection. Have a good one. Love y'all. <laughs> and thanks for your prayers again. Strawberry shortcake. Looks good.